Howdy doody. Yeah, back from a detectable. <laughs> I met some absolutely awesome people like Scott from Dirt Diggers UK, Mark Gale, Lou from uh, Quest for the Holy Grail, uh, yeah, Grim Bleeper, Stephen Gray, there's absolutely loads of awesome YouTubers there. Yeah, had a fantastic time. Big up Dave, Mark, and Niall. Can't say it enough, but you guys actually made my weekend. But, anyways, let's get back to it. It's been six months since uh, I actually got the Quest Q30. So yeah, and I know I've done like, sort of like a review. It's gonna be my six month review. So yeah, here it is. My best find with the Quest Q30. This has been my best hunt of 2020, even though I've hardly been out. I think I've just fallen in love with the Quest Q30. I've got a target here. I'm right near a footpath, so like, you got a footpath sign here and it just goes all the way down here and whatnot. I've done it for the past three years with that Macro Multi Cruiser. I had a steady 83 on the old doodah. Like every angle I spun around it and everything, 83. Turned it, well, flipped the plug out, it was still in the hole. So I took another scoop and yeah, turn you around. I found the fucking find a dime. I'd be any happier. Good boy. I've found one of the best finds anyone could ever have. A fucking button. Shanks on the back. Yeah, boy. General service. Military button. But yeah, I collect buttons. So like, I know a lot of people get mad about hammered coins and that jazz. Fucking buttons for me, mate. And yeah, I've only, this is probably... I've only ever found three. Day. Not really Sorry day. if you're getting any wind noise. I know I moan and complain about everything, it's all I do. But I've got a really good signal and I've, I've got it out, but I haven't cleaned it up or anything. But I think I've just got silver. Right, out of that hole, I've started putting the sod soil, whatever, back in, but it was like in the side wall there, so I've got it out. We've got a coin. Legend. Oh my god. What we got sixpence? Yeah boy, I've only ever have I? I don't think I've even found a sixpence with this design on. 1920 so that's uh full silver is it? Off just before the turn. I don't know, but it's silver Buzzing. I'm fucking shocked, right? I'm like, I'm sorry for swearing, I know I do it all the time. But you always hear about detectorists, you know, the experienced ones, say detect around big old trees. Well, to me, he's a big old tree. I just waved my way along. Did I show you the donkeys? Yeah, if you see the donkeys, I just followed the wall along. Uh, just moo tubes, moo tubes. I'm going to go near the tree because everyone says go behind, go around big old trees. I had a really good signal. It was like 83 and it was bing, 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 bing. I was like, oh, it's going to be a coin. Dug it out and it was a massive piece of iron. <sighs> Found another one. I'll tell you what the sound is like and what the numbers were. Hey, you know what's in my face? Can you hear that? Right, that's jumping from 48 at the lowest, 20. Yeah, it's jumpy as hell, this. But yeah, I'll turn you around. Gobsmack, mate. So yeah, I've only gone and done it again with something good. What have we got? Oh, oh was it a shilling? 
two shillings. Oh my god, 1940, George the Sixth. Oh yeah, boy. Proper gobsmacked. That was amazing. Leave a comment if you know. You know, sort of like this cruddy stuff, because I know they're only, what, 50% silver, if that. I know that some of these Georgia 6s are like 25% silver. But yeah, if you know how to clean this off, because I once found the Georgia 6, sixpence, and I did some electrolysis on it, and I just completely buggered it. So yeah, I'm just going to leave this for the time being. But that is amazing. Right, first target is reading around 80s, 90s on the quest. And I think we've got ourselves a toy. Not just a toy. I think we've got the first cowboy penny of 2021. Yeah, that's what we're going for. Sorry to get in the middle of this. But yeah, I'm going for a big old. Travel penny. Found our next target. Got out the quad. Uh, I don't think it'll be anything historical. A eh? oh, maybe I don't know. Hang on. I mean, I mean, you know what I think this is part of. I'm not sure. I think it's part of a Jew's harp or a jaw harp. You'd have the two long prongs coming out there. You know that. Have some sort of. I've got one at home. I'll show you. You'll have the old bit of metal there. You twang to make your funky noises. So yeah, if that's what it is, it's the best find of the day. Other than that, I have not a great idea what it is. But yeah, that's a buzzing about that. Yeah, I've probably got best find it there, but the best of it is, I've got a target right here. Look at this. Absolute beauty. Absolutely made up with that. That's what it's for. Oh yeah. I've had some, uh, yeah, some amazing finds, so I thought I would do like um, a doodah, like, what do you call it? A montage of my best finds with the Quest Q30. So yeah, let me know. I think it's an amazing machine. I've had so many finds, maybe because I'm a bit more of experience, it's been like three years detecting. But yeah, these past six months, yeah, I've got my phone on a power bank. These past six months have probably been my most successful six months of detecting regardless of machine I've had yeah like it took me about a year and a half to find a silver coin but this time yeah six months and I found a couple so in my opinion the Quest Q30 is an absolutely awesome machine stuff like you know it's magnet charging which completely blew my mind because I'm not gonna lie I never heard of it till I got the Quest Q30 and uh, yeah, telescopicness, it's like XP, it just folds up, easy storage, easy transport, and it's super light. And it's 100% waterproof, you know what I mean, I can go underwater with it, which is, yeah, that's all you need. So in my opinion, the Quest Q30 is a must-have detector, and probably my favourite at the minute. Yeah, I'm going to say it, it's my favourite detector on the market. It's cheap as well, like 300... I think I got it, I think it's 300 quid retail price, maybe 400. I'm not 100%, but I'll put it somewhere here, what the actual price of it is to buy it brand new. But yeah, I would highly recommend it for beginners and uh, experienced detectorists because I was on fire with it. This past six months, I've been on fire. So yeah, thank you subscribers. You guys are proper legends. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button because it's free and yeah like the video because i really do appreciate it spring detectable with the lads is not just 
reignited my passion for detecting but mental health wise it's yeah i'm on another level because the metal detecting community is amazing i know i'm the moany one i'm like yeah i know i moan and complain and swear but yeah the whole community of metal detecting is amazing so yeah let me know what you think of the quest q30 because to me it's an amazing machine so yeah i'll see you on the next decent video <laughs> Dum 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 d